This is John Bond making his hurdling debut for Nicky Henderson. Yeah, he looks the part, doesn't he, Lydia, as you'd, you'd expect him to. Um, terrific pedigree. Really impressive when he won his point to point. Really impressive when he won his bumper as well. He strutted to, to success that day. Pretty much hard held. Uh, the time was nothing flash. And the form has taken a few knocks subsequently. But he's still a, a very good prospect. And we'll learn much more about him today. Um, even money then. He's just, just on his toes. Just on the edge a little bit down at the start. Here's Nick. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got on his toes. Martin down at the post at uh, John Bond and he clearly very keen to get on with things yeah he is um, sort of seeing that for the first time one thing I was taking by in his bumper was how well he relaxed because they, they didn't go that quick in the bumper and he was sort of just tracking the leaders but he, he, he really switched off and settled nicely through that race so um, let's hope he's not too lit up hurdling for the first time today he looks great in the paddock he's a real imposing horse with a lot of presence about him and um, yeah, we'll, we'll learn a lot more about him today anyway, that's for sure. Walking forward for John Bond's hurdling debut. Will it be victory for the expensive brother to Duvan? He is jogging forward in the hands of Aidan Coleman. We will find out in a moment in the company of Ian Bartlett. He's slowly coming forward and they're off with nobody given instructions to make the running in this. So the starters left the rostrum and they are walking towards the starting Okay, definitely not a course record here. Uh, eventually, they're going to leave the ground at flight number one of uh, eight. But at the moment, that could be quite some considerable time. Uh, walking towards the starting point in front at the moment is Boom Boom. Uh, John Bon is off to the extreme uh, right there as they still continue to not actually get past the starting point yet. Uh, Island Rum is uh, up in the front rank. On the extreme left is Leading Man. Dark blue and light blue colours. Well, I suppose they actually started now. Hooray. They are away. Running down towards then the... Well, running. Uh, making slowly their way down towards the first of eight flights of hurdles. Boom, born. And good risk at all. And on the right, John Bon will be the leaders uh, nearest to us is Ange Endormi in the beige colours you might just end up in front but now it's going to be Jack's a legend a uh, dark blue and red jacket a white cap who strides through into a two or three length advantage so they sort of really do now get going with one circuit remaining and seven more to take Ange Endormi is running in second place and then comes the white and dark blue colours of good risk at all who shows in third. John Bon, uh, the favourite green and yellow hoop jacket, uh, white caps a length and a half behind that, showing in fourth. The chocolate and gold colours is Island Run, uh, shows towards the outside of Charlie's Glance and Boom Born. And just leading man is the back marker, so they run into the back straight. Then they have four flights over there to take numbers two, three, four, and five. And uh, in front, it is Jack's a legend and Tom Bellamy who lead on the run towards number two. Enjean Dormy, David Bass, Maroon Cap running in second and probably will go into the lead. He does because Jack's a legend approaches that in first position, leaves it in fourth. In second place now is Good Risk at All. Sam Tristan Davis in the white and dark blue. Then the yellow hoops for Aidan Coleman on John Bonner. So they run down towards number three. Trio in front. Uh, uh, virtually to touch down together. At the back of the field then is leading man, Paige Fuller, and the dark blue and light blue. He's pretty keen early on, but now uh, has to be ridden along. Also towards the back, the chocolate jacket is Island Run and Tom Bellamy. The white and black is James Martin on Charlie's Glance. And uh, they run on down to the fourth flight of Ferdles. And Aidan Coleman decides to send John Bond through to the lead. And he's got about a two-length advantage. Good risk at all. His major market rival is in second position. And then the pink and blue boom bomb and Harry Skelton on the right is almost disputing second place now. Island Run is behind those. And then comes Charlie's glance. Uh, Enjean Dormi has dropped away behind those. Also dropping out of it. Jack's a legend and leading man. They're the last couple of runners. So they're inside the final mile now, beginning the... A run towards the home straight with John Bond. He's just over length ahead. Running in second place is good risk at all. Boom Bomb is about a length and a half behind those 
showing in third uh, place. And then a little gap behind those two, Island Run, who shows in fourth with Charlie's Glance, uh, making progress on him as they continue this long run between four and three out. In front, though, the two market leaders going clear now. John Bon Aiden Coleman, and on the left is Good Risk at all, Sam Tristan Davis. Boom, boom, be about five lengths behind him. Charlie's Glance moving through to try and tackle for third position, Island Run behind those. Three to jump now, John Bon, good leap over that, landed a half length ahead. Good risk at all in second. On the left is Charlie's glance. Boom, boom is one from the right. These are clear from Island Run. And then Jack's the legend. Two to jump from here. John Bomb uh, over a length ahead. Maybe two ahead to Good risk at all in second position as they clear the second last flight of hurdles. Boom, boom is another two lengths behind. Charlie's glance is one pace behind those. They've got one flight of hurdles to jump. It's taken an awfully long time to complete a circuit, but not very long for the last two furlongs by a look of it, John Bon at the last jumped well the whole way round, settled this uh, little way from home, this fella a long look over the shoulders for Aidan Coleman so into the closing stages the final furlong, it's an extending good lead for John Bon, who runs up towards the line to make a winning debut over hurdles, he'll be pursued home by good risk at all in second place, who's going to hold that position to Boom Bon in third place and Charlie's glance behind those in fourth And wins hard held, John Bon, powerful and packed full of potential, wins on his hurdling debut, the brother to Duvan. He's good all right, just how good? The rest of the season will tell us. But one thing we know is that he's dispatched smart horses, and he's had the horses that really had no business being here strung out halfway down the back. So when he took hold of the bit, the others began to struggle. 11 to 10 on, he's returned. 6 to 4 at one point this morning. Aidan Coleman barely had to move a muscle. I hesitate to say £570,000 is ever well spent on a horse, but he's a, a mighty fine beast, Martin. Should have been falls on, shouldn't he, Nick? Ah. Um, no, that was that was seriously impressive, wasn't it, from him? And, and um, we know that he's beaten a good field, you know, good risk at all. He's a good horse. He's got a lot of ability. Boomborn had made a nice start, and the race threatened to be a bit farcical early on, but his jumping was really good, and he's clearly got loads of natural ability, hasn't he? Anybody can see it, look, you know, whatever the time tells you today, this is a good horse, like a really smart horse, isn't he? And he's going to have to go into um, deeper waters as the season goes on, and, and he'll be tested more and more, but he's not even a flinch to do that today, and he's beaten a really good, talented rival in good risk at all, who's jumped better as the race has gone on. He's got a very potent combination of pace, physique mm. and agility and just a little bit of that as well, and which I never mind if it's honest in the right direction. And the way for a, a horse of some power and physique, he was just putting himself right at every oh, hurdle. Natural, was a joy to watch, wasn't yeah, it? And he's really slick, isn't he? He didn't look novice at all, did he, at any stage. Bet for a hurdle. <laughs> now you need three hurdle runs first oh, you to do. do that. It's unlikely then. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think they'll be wanting to worry about conserving his mark. There's, there's plenty more that you can, you can go that route with. John Bon is a championship horse. I don't think there's any doubt about that. And uh, I, I'd be fascinated to know what the winning jockey uh, felt riding John Bon today. We can find out now because he's with Lydia. Coleman on board, John Bond. That was very, very good indeed, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, uh, to be fair to the horse, he, um, he's got a high, high reputation for whatever. Well, for we know the reasons why. But it's about time he came on and uh, and um, you know did a bit more on the track. You know, he won his Newbury bumper. People tend to knock it, but then they tend to build them up. Then at the same time, um, and then he's come here today and he's done that very nicely. Beat a very good horse in second. Uh, Funny all race to ride in, as you could see, but mm. it was, everyone was told not to make the running under any circumstances, so we have to do what we're told, you know what I mean? It's not, especially in novices, it's, it's very all well and good taking your law into your own hand, and then your horse going down and having a look or a shimmy or doing something at the first. You know, these the, the owners pay for these horses to come racing and, and get the right experience and they pay professionals to ride them, and if you can't ride a horse to the best of its ability or to teach it going forward, then uh, there's no point really kind of giving jockeys instructions and that's why the start ha was how it was. You know? Okay, that's an explanation. Um, well, it's just for all babies. It's, the handicap is very different. It wouldn't happen because you'd be nearly sure your horse would go down and jump the first, but like everything there had a very little experience. I know he's had a point-to-point -point run, but he never ran on the track. You know, Sammy's horse had had a run, but didn't jump great. 
Harry's horse was similar, um, and Tom O'Brien's horse only one run on the bumper, you know, so what are we supposed to do, if you know what I mean? But uh, the race developed in the straight, and he did it nicely from there. He was quite skittish down at the start as well, so that really wasn't helping you, was it? Uh, he's actually a very kind horse, very easy horse to deal with, to be honest. He's a, he's a free sweater, but um, um, you look at Galileo's winning every derby and every grade one for the last 20 years, and they're all free sweaters as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, people don't mix up the free sweater at him being um, anything other than just that. He's a very relaxed, kind individual, and he's very straightforward. But he looks like he's got a bit of a pep about him, though, like his, like his brother, and he just you went, you allowed him to go on, and he's very neat at his hurdles as well. Yeah, no, just, just look, he's a, he's, a, he's, he's, he's a very, very good racehorse going forward, and now I hope um, he can start writing his own headlines rather than looking back at price tags and siblings, you know? <laughs> I think he probably can. Thank Thanks, Aidan. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.